Did you do run down the corner and back? Yeah, I was quick, wasn't I? Yep, we're good. Live. We're live. Welcome to the Zoning Board of Appeals for the Town of Farmers. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to introduce the Zoning Board of Appeals members. To my left is Jody Binnix. To my right is Todd Ruthven. And, and introduce the town staff. We got Ron Brand, Director of Development, Augie Gordner, Code Officer, Sarah Mitchell, Clerk of the Board, and Paula, who is showing her. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have two emergency exits. One, one you guys came into, and one to your right, in case we need them. This meeting will be conducted in accordance to the rules of procedure of the Zoning Board of Appeals adopted on January 22nd, 2024. Um, I'd like to get a motion to approve the previous meeting minutes. <laughs> by Kelly. I'll Second by Todd. All in favor? Aye. Minutes are approved. There was legal notice published on February 18th, 2024 for tonight's agenda, ZB 0201-24, Vinyl Outlet, CEO Kirk Brickwood. Respond to continued public hearing. We have one continued public hearing. ZB1201-23, Robert Clark, 13 Hollister Street, Dundee, New York, 14837. The applicant is requesting an area variance to the provisions contained within Chapter 165, Schedule 1, Attachment 1 of the Farmington Town Code. The applicant wishes to erect an 8-foot wide by 10-foot long porch deck to be attached to the front of the residence with a proposed front set back of 30 feet. The town code requires a minimum front setback of 40 feet. The property is located at 1739 Beechwood Drive and is zoned R-1-10 residential single family. Before I start, I just want to say that I do live on Beechwood Drive, but I don't have any um, conflicts of interest. I don't live directly next to the resident according to the rules and procedures. Very good. Thank you. So who is here to make a presentation? Robin Parker. And your address, please. State your name. 13 Howard Street, Dundee, New York, 14837. Okay, so the floor is yours. Um, I'm helping out my cousin is what I'm doing, my cousin's kid, and they bought the house about a year ago. When they bought the house, the concrete and stuff were partially demolished. The place was a disaster. Um, so I immediately tore it out so that nobody would get hurt. And they had another entrance um, at the lower part. Well, what I want to do is just build a, actually it's a eight, it's eight by 10 total, but the last four foot of it's going to be a four by four uh, little pad, and then the steps down to the, to the actual driveway. So the deck itself is going to be eight by six with a four foot landing before the stairs. And it's going to be made out of wood tree. Right? So, <laughs> just what you know, what you have. Okay. Anything else? No. No. I apologize for the last two meetings. Oh, that's right. I'm glad you made it this time. Yeah. Yeah. Comments? Yeah, I've uh, drafted two resolutions. Sarah has updated them for tonight, and I think we're ready to go. Any comments from the public? Anyone online? Nobody online. Anyone online? Nope. Okay. Board members' comments? Thank you. All right. 
there a public hearing? Public hearing. ZB 0201-24, the final outlet, CEO Kirk Brickwood from 3570 Broadway Street, Chief Rogla, New York, 14227. The applicant is requesting an area variance provisions contained within chapter 165, schedule one, attachment one, the pharmacy town code. The applicant wishes to erect an eight foot wide by four foot long to be attached to the front of the residence and post front setback of 38 feet. The town code requires a minimum front setback of 40 feet. The property is located at 1197 Belmont Drive and is zoned R 1 10. So, is here to speak on um, the presentation? Yeah, so do you know an address for the record? Kirk Rickwood, uh, sitting the right way, an accident. Um, what we're trying to do is they've got a concrete stoop there. We want to bring the stoop up to level for safety reasons because he's having a hard time stepping down to it. And then attach rails and uh, extend the deck to a what's eight by 12, is that what it is? Excuse me. An eight by 12. Um, so it, it does encroach real two feet more than it should. Um, it's mostly for safety reasons for him. So we can add some railings to get up and down and as well on the deck. It's going to be able to be constructed with uh, treated and then uh, we have a vinyl rails and all vinyl decking for it. Pretty, pretty straightforward. I mean, I could get some pictures if you need it for anything. Okay. Uh, I'm drafted two resolutions. I think we're good to go on this one. No comments on this one either. Nope. Board members' comments, questions? No, Ron, are you thinking about redrafting the town code for this section? Right. We are. <laughs> we got a lot going on. I know. I know you've done it for other sections. I know this one's coming, but I just want to. It's, it's right behind the Egg Protection Overlay District. Which is next month. Good luck. Okay. No comments from the public. We will close that public hearing. We can move on to deliberations and decisions. A motion to waive the reading of the seeker. I'll make a motion to waive the reading of the seeker resolution. Approve the resolution as committed by the town staff. I have a second. I'll second. Thanks, Julie. All in favor? Uh, aye. Uh, okay. This is for ZB 1201-23 area variance project. Um, I have a motion for the legal legal resolution to complete final decision and legal determinations of the as presented. I'll make a motion to waive the readings of the complete findings and decision resolution and read the determination and condition. All right. Second. Motion by Todd, second by Kat. All in favor? Aye. Aye. The Zoning Board of Appeals, after reviewing the above five proofs, makes the following decision that the benefit to the applicant does outweigh any known detriment to the community or neighborhood. And therefore, the requested area variance to erect an eight foot wide by ten foot long porch deck addition attached to the existing dwelling, having a front setback of thirty feet within the front yard portion of the lot is approved with the following conditions: the proposed porch deck addition shall be constructed and attached to the front portion of the existing structure in accordance with an approved building permit to be issued by the town code enforcement officer. The porch deck addition is for an open air structure only. Said addition shall not be enclosed or used for a available space. The materials to be used for the porch deck addition are to match to the extent practical the exterior of the existing structure. All site lighting associated with the proposed porch deck addition shall comply with the lighting standards contained in Chapter 165 of the Town Code. All inspections shall be performed and accepted by the town enforcement officer. 
prior to issuance of certificate of compliance. <laughs> yes, sir. Yep. Therefore, to be resolved that the board of maintenance determination has satisfied the procedural requirements under New York State Town Law and the Town of Farmington Code. Can I have a motion to accept this resolution? Motion by Joe. Is that you? You already did that. Oh, already. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Roll call vote. Kelly. Aye. Todd. Aye. Jody. Aye. Tom. All right. Have you next? Yeah, we think I'll we'll uh, we'll be in touch with you um tomorrow probably. Okay. Um turn this over to Kaden. He you'll work with Kaden on it. Okay. All right. All right thank, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Next up. ZD0201-24, area variance, by Alpines. I make a motion to waive the reading of the seeker resolution and approve the resolution is submitted by the council. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Also make a motion to waive the reading of the complete findings and decision resolution, the legal determination, and condition. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Zoning of, of Appeals, after reviewing the above five proofs, makes the following decision. That the benefits the applicant does outweigh any known benefit to the community or neighborhood, and therefore the area, plus the area variance to the left eight foot wide by 12 foot long porch in that condition, attached to the front entrance for the existing dwelling, and having a front setback of 37.3 feet within the front yard portion of the lot is approved with the following conditions. Porch, the proposed porch deck addition shall be constructed and attached to the front portion of the existing structure in accordance with the approved building permit to be issued by the town code enforcement officer. The porch deck addition is for an open air structure only. Said addition shall not be enclosed or used for habitable space. Material to be used for the porch deck addition are to match to the said practical exterior of the existing structure. All site lighting associated with the proposed porch deck addition shall comply with the lighting standards contained in Chapter 165 of the Town Code. All inspections shall be performed except, except by the Town Enforcement Official prior to issuance to the certificate of compliance. This is what I understand. For making this determination has satisfied the procedural requirements under the New York State Town Law. Town Farmington Town Code. Kelly? Aye. Todd? Aye. Jody? Aye. Tom? Aye. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
what they have proposed to, in, to install sidewalk all the way from County Road 41 down to Farmbrook. So that's a significant amount of sidewalk, as well as sidewalks through the project on both on one side of the town roads and uh, over to Quentinshire. Now, one of the things that I want to mention about Quentinshire is there is an application pending on the what would have been the phase two portion of the Pintail apartment project that was never funded by the state. And they are now looking at a townhouse project there that's going to need some variances because the town would like to have that be a dedicated road. And when you go to a dedicated road, your setbacks shift. And so it's necessitating those variances. The reason for the town's desire is that Wood Drive Bridge is going to be replaced. And when that's replaced, the only route available to people on Running Brook Wood Drive is to go out through Farmbrook. Uh, and that at best is not most desirable to send traffic through that area. It also is not desirable from the standpoint of school buses and emergency vehicles. So um, they originally, when they did the Pintail project, want, wanted to have a public road through there over to uh, Red Fern Drive and, and Running Brook. But the neighbors on Running Brook didn't want the additional traffic. And they, that attitude has changed now that they know they're going to have a uh, somewhat circuitous route to get to their house and get in and out every day. So amazing how that works. Um, the other thing is uh, the town board, I think Kelly's going to cheer for this one. The town board did rezone the Farmington Market Center project. And uh, that's before the uh, coming before the planning board in the near future with the overall preliminary site plans and maybe some demolition plans for the yellow house and get things moving along over there finally on that. And then, then the only other thing that, that I can think of that we have uh, Ending is, as I said before, the Ag Advisory Committee will be receiving a draft local law for amending the, uh, provisions in Chapter 165 of the Town Code uh, dealing with uh, agriculture protection overlay districts. So uh, that's part of the task that I've been given along with everything else going on in this environment here with referrals and whatnot. We have a large uh, building coming back in over on 41 uh, next to Mini Tech, 200,000 square foot building initially with space for another 100,000 square feet to be added to it. Um, major, major company here in this region is relocating to Farmington for the uh, distribution facility that they're proposing. And the attic landing project on 96 got preliminary overall subdivision and site plan approval. So they could be coming in shortly with final drawings for first phase of that project. So it's been a busy time. And with no excuse, but uh, when we saw this setback come in on, on Belmont Drive, I said, oh, here we go. Joey's going to. <laughs> Any questions from anybody? Oh, sure. oh, last thing, State DOT is doing 
a study of the intersections from the city of Canandaigua all the way up, no, excuse me, from Parkside Drive all the way up to the throughway. And they're going to be trying to synchronize those intersections, installing the backboards behind the lights to make them more visible and uh, eliminating these uh, flashing arrows that have people all confused and concerned with green, yellow, and red arrows, trying to simplify that. They, they weren't aware of our sidewalk projects, which they're excited about. So hopefully we'll see something in, in progress next year. They're supposed to be releasing a, a draft of that this summer. Yeah. No, it's... Oh, you mean that you mean the, the plan situation? Yeah. It's a GTC project. That, I don't know about that. Okay. They might just that might just be within their um just within I didn't fund it. Anyways. I'll ask you. And somebody did buy the Griffith building. Tear that thing down? Well, we can always help. Uh, I hope so, because it's crumbling as we speak. <laughs> Augie's working on it. <laughs> Go ahead, Augie. I'm passing that buck. <laughs> oh, so we pass it right over to you, Officer Colby. Um, obviously, there's an open clerk position that uh, maybe we'll fill. Who knows? With someone else. Um, the only other thing is uh, the next meeting scheduled for March 25th. So, um, the Fowler Family Trust application will be on that meeting. Um which will be a removal of the existing application in the middle of a new application. So, um, and then most likely you'll see uh, the Creekwood phase two, which is the pintail, um, that project, that will most likely be on this, that agenda as well. Um, they should be submitting. Um, and there's a one more pending. I'm not sure if it'll hit that meeting or not, but um, that is for a uh, special use permit. So. <clears throat> That's all I got for you. Eight Street. Yep. All right. Maybe. Set. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. No. A second. Motion is adjourned.